do you when you're looking back on it there and obviously you know you never like leaving it in the judges hands at any point when it comes to MMA but is there one fight that maybe sticks out to you as far as like I still to this day when I rewatch it don't know how I, I lost that fight or how they could have scored it that way is there anything like that that maybe comes to mind well yeah I mean I had a lot a lot of those lot, a lot of my losses are decision losses and uh, you know split decision I think my last fight in UFC was a split decision loss against uh, Cesar Fajera mm -hmm. and uh, you know right before that I fought Vitor Belfort which I believe I won that fight but yeah I mean that's just kind of the uh, that's the nature of the sport and uh, of course everyone wants to finish the fight but that's easy to say well just don't leave it in the judge's hand well yeah of course <laughs> good advice right yeah <laughs> if, it, if it were that simple there would be a lot more professional fighters in the world there for yeah, sure right. <laughs> <laughs> so you know you came up in the ufc and mma in a time where it, it wasn't nearly as global a sport as it is now right it, it was by far and large, most of the events were still taking place in Nevada and Las Vegas and all that. So I'm going back to sort of the judges there in those earlier days, is there ever any discussion between fighters or, or even your camps where you almost do sort of your homework on the judges and figure out like, okay, so these three are scoring it tonight. This guy always rewards whatever octagon control more than the other, or this guy, even if you're not landing strikes, just staying busy, he sort of scores that well. So is there ever any discussion between fighters about the judges themselves? Uh, there is. It's never been before a fight, though. It's mm -hmm. always after. Like, I can name a couple, and I won't do it, but, I mean, a couple where I'm like, oh, yeah, that guy, I know he's, his scoring is way off. Like, uh, almost every time it's when I think this guy won, he picks the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't think – it, a lot of the fighters, I don't think they know beforehand who the judges are going to be. I'm sure there's a way to find out because I think they discuss those things in like in boxing fights, like who the judges are going to be, who the ref's going to be. Fighters, at least all the fighters I know, they don't know. They don't know even know who the ref is until they show up at the fight. Mm -hmm. And and so, you know, it's like he, he talks to you literally the day of the fight. It's like, oh, OK, I'm, I'm going to ref your fight. And uh, yeah, so, and then with the judges, I mean, that would be, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's just so many things to already think about. That would be just one more thing to, to you know, try to X factor to, to, to put in your equation. I think it would be kind of difficult. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's not, no hidden fighter advanced scouting network that uh, the casual fan doesn't know about going on then, eh? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure there, there probably are coaches or fighters that look into that stuff but they're very few i've i've never never known one <laughs> yeah yeah do you think that just judging if we look at it uh, as a whole here do you think it's gotten better gotten worse or has stayed pretty much the same since you first debuted in mma there that's a good question uh it definitely i don't think it's gotten better yeah because <laughs> uh, at least back i mean it seems like back in the day, it was more boxing judges that are watching a fight. And at least you knew where they were coming from. And kind of, you know, if you're on top and you're punching, it's like they're, they're scoring you as the winner. And to me, you know, that it's probably closer to how a fight should be scored. Um, I don't know. I have a lot of opinions on the, the scoring. It's kind of, I think it's the, the 10 point must system is kind of strange when you have two close rounds and then you have you have to score it one way or the other um and then you have the third round where one guy just completely dominates mm -hmm. and it's like well if you look at the fight as a whole that guy won the fight but if you want to pick the f the first two rounds for the other guy because of whatever factor you choose you know it's it's a little bit um it's a little bit subjective. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that brings up a good point too, because you, along with fans and other fighters and pretty much everyone, have never been, you know, 
fully satisfied with the judging experience, let's put it that way. What's one thing you think that whether it's the athletic commission or the UFC or the judges themselves could do to improve that experience for everyone? You know, is it more training for the judges? Is it, as you just said, going to a different scoring system? Is it maybe even positioning them in a different vantage point so they can see the ring a little bit better? Like, does anything come to mind as far as how to improve that moving forward in the sport? Yeah, I mean, well, you could change the scoring system, but I don't, I think that some people are going to be against that. And I think that would be a tough, a tough thing to win over. But um, one thing I think that you could do that, at least if you don't agree with the judge's decision per round, at least you have the knowledge to do something about it in the third round. Mm -hmm. So that would be uh, I don't know what they call it, like live scoring or something like that. Well, basically round one's over and you, the, the judges put their, their scores in and you know, who's winning that first round. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you, same thing round two. So come round three or round five in a title fight, you know, if I have to knock this guy out or submit him, I have to finish him. I know. And it's, I think it'll make the third round more exciting actually, because you'll see fights where both guys think they're good and they, you know, they just, it's still competitive, but no one's really going for it. Mm -hmm. But if one of those guys knew, Hey, I'm down, I'm down two rounds or at least on two of the judges. Right. So I need to finish. And uh, I think they would make it more exciting and make it a little bit. Uh, it would help the scoring a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So not even just sort of live scoring for at home, but actually like within the arena, then you're saying so that the fighters in their corners are aware of, exactly of, you know, hey, I am down two rounds to none. It's it's go time or I'm losing either way type thing then. Yeah, yeah. I think, I mean, that's how any, every other sport, I mean, look at wrestling, uh, I guess boxing's not that way, but um, yeah, wrestling's that way. You know what the score is. Uh, mm -hmm basketball I mean it'd be weird if they're you're just playing and then you count the points at the end it's like yeah. oh we won yeah <laughs> right it makes it a lot more exciting when you're down by four points or whatever and you have to score so yeah